I'm not surprised at all that MP was stooped this low. I told y'all, he didn't like the coach. And you know what that little channel of his, he wants the drama. It's good for ratings. Believe me, I know. And can we talk about this tweet for a second from user start MP, you idiots? First of all, is that your burner MP? I refuse to believe a real person would name themselves that. Second of all, the tweet said, and I quote, free my boy MP. I swear y'all clowns wouldn't know Michael Jordan if he smacked you in the face. Are you kidding me, MP? You think you're Michael Jordan? And you want to talk about clowns. The only clown here is you, running around with your Twitter fingers, acting like a fool like this. Ooh. <clears throat> Are you enjoying your newfound bad boy status? <laughs> I like it. Look, <laughs> I like it, to be honest, uh, especially because it's for a just cause. Man, you know me better than anybody. I'm not somebody who lets the world tell me what I'm worth. I define that. As you should. Yeah. Uh, speaking of which, I booked an interview for you. Okay. To sit down with Frank Valentine to clear the air. <laughs> so not clear the air. Well, Got it. The, the idea isn't to burn bridges, but you're aware management isn't going to like what you have to say. So it's okay to approach the interview from a place of delivering a hard truth, you know? For sure. Yeah, I guess it's a fine line to walk to avoid coming off sounding like an entitled brat, huh? Yeah. Just never forget that the coach is who's in the wrong here. Don't let them make you feel ashamed of speaking the truth. You got this. We got this. <laughs> no, we had a lot to talk about at that fucking... What was that shit called? Now, Top take day in, we played about two and a half I don't know the fuck that is. I don't talk about a lot of shit, but... I guess we gonna have to prove him wrong. It's all like DJ Scheme for some fucking reason. Free throw line. It's gonna go on Gary Trent. Zach Levine has so much about, talent. What, 13? And people just want more. But you I guess can't argue and a half, that he produces in so many areas. Here's Flynn. Hounded by ball. Back to Trent. Man, we need to set up his... Is that really me? Pass to Flynn. No, that's that Flynn. Flynn. Here's Dean. So defended by DeRozan. Clock at four. D can't get it to go. Chicago with the ball. I so They're on I an 18-7 run. Well, uh, it's been a long time since the Bulls have been relevant. But, Candace, there are signs that the franchise might be on the swing. Well, there's this guy called Zach Levine. I enjoy watching him play, enjoy watching his growth. Obviously, Kobe White is another backcourt name that I see a lot of potential. I didn't realize he could shoot the oh, like he shot it. So, okay. I think that that's I'm open, I'm open. Hello. Personal. It's been a rough quarter for him. Can't Thank seem to find any Christ. kind of rhythm. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. Here's Williams, and Williams punches it home. Shooting the foul? It's crazy. Nail Cole is shooting the foul on me, but one Cole is shooting the foul on the other team. And we do the exact same thing. Boucher's checked in for Toronto. Barnes here, comes in for Ananobi. Back to Flynn. They set the pick. Another screen. Pass it back. Out to the right wing. That's, Three pointer. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Oh, we. Six. Not just a knockdown shooter, he does a great job of finding space for his shot. Outside White. DeRozan right side. Oh my God, oh, what a DeRozan just off the, the block. Jesus Christ. Here's Flynn. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. He caught that a good screen. That screen was pretty bad, but... It's Barnes on the wing. Williams defending. Pass to D. From downtown. Green. Oh, again, Toronto with a triple. I was going to say B, but that's kind of what I was going to do. I got to figure out what I'm going to say for my green. Like, Chris Booth has splash. Uh, Flight has a green B. I love how they've attacked the boards uh -huh. here in the first quarter. The Raptors have got 7 of 15 to find the net. Here's D. That's if people become, like, popular. They Out know to the right wing. Back to Boucher. Pass to D. 
54, god damn. I didn't get to play this quarter, coach. Oh no, I'm about to play the whole third quarter. Jesus Christ. A minute 53 left in the second period. And it goes out of bounds. Oh, that's hard. I'm sure it's for sure with them, but I guess. Here's Caruso. Looking for his first basket still in this one. The kick out to Williams. Back to Caruso. Clock at six. Nice move. Here's Bradley. Bro, if Alex Caruso would have made that, I know I'm late as fuck. I'd probably take like, bro, that happened 20 seconds ago. I'm just, I'm so, so, so you know, I'm doing it. Oh, I'm wide open. Beautiful. Thanks so much for having me. It's always interesting to hear from a great announcer who also is a great player. It doesn't always translate that way, but Candace is a special, special talent. And she Look, puts you in get the, the read, bro. What Barnes, are you doing? Malachi Flynn out there with OG Ananobi. Then it's Chris Boucher, and it's D in at the four-man spot. So that's the five in the game for Toronto. Here's Flynn. He's guarded by White. Back to Barnes. Down low. Here's D. Kicks it out to Barnes. I should have hit that right corner and got open. The Raptors need to get off the shot. Get the last D can't get it to go. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's White. Please block this. Oh my god, we can't get a rebound to save our lives. To I need to upgrade my character. Back to Williams. He's in his comfort zone, two for two to start this one. Trying to attack the heart of that defense with great teamwork. Outside Ananobi. Here's D. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that's been very close. Oh, any playmaking points? How do you get playmaking points? Oh, well, yeah, like screens and shit. Screens assist. This would be a good sensational. I'm not talking about sensational. I'm only really getting like Bradley, 11 minutes a game. Williams comes like in for Johnson. But we're in the league. He's checked in for DeRozan. And it's White in for ball. And Grant, back when you played, were there certain types of teams that gave you more trouble? Whether it was size or athleticism or maybe shooting? Well, back in my day, I mean, the big, strong teams had a huge oh, advantage. Oh, wide open. Really Thank you. Up and plant big guys inside. It really made it difficult getting to the rim. And so in the game for the Bulls, Tony Bradley out there with Patrick Williams. Then there's Zach Levine. Then it's Kobe White. And it's Caruso in at the two. To the wing, right side. The uh, I should have Here's D into the lane. He can't get it to go, and it's Chicago the other way. And at home for the next game, it'll be this New is York weird, but I don't know how to do a layup two or games on their home court. Kobe White when I say layup, up, like, I don't know how to do it efficiently. Like, I know how to pass. do it, but I don't know how to like. Pass to Flynn. That motherfucker go in every time. Here's D. Williams to Finley. They grab their own miss. Mm -hmm. And the whistle blows uh, as the basket I hate seeing myself not do something like other people. One free throw coming up. The team loves what Boucher is starting to give them all So I'm just wondering how the fuck it worked for them, but it didn't in the work first for me. Place. Rim protection. 6'11 with a 7'4 wingspan so and quick hops. Like. Here's White. And Beautiful block. Thank you, Shinoff. I love the foul. I love the foul. I love the foul. Chicago will retain possession. My field goal percentage is 50%. That's, that's terrible. 
We've got 33 seconds left in the third quarter. Six on the shot clock. Barnes against Levine. He had it flowing from long range in the first half. Not sure what changed. He has gone ice cold this quarter. Obviously Thank not helping their calls. Shooting at a high clip. He's found ways to get quality looks. Outside Levine. Over Barnes. Ooh, excellent D there. Does that look like a crossbow well, attack? Three quarters of play. And look at four. Oh. Oh, he's, he's a slasher, bro. He's like over the top slasher. Like part slasher. This I'm gonna do. How much I got? 37 seconds. Wow, I missed that whole rebound because I wasn't paying attention. That's the four spot. That's the five out there for the Raptors. You don't have to. Really easy to off the bumper. Here's D. Johnson. D. It's all in by the Bulls. About three seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. Honestly, they're just down by too much to not cover. And you know, disappointment so starts to control. set in a little bit. I don't think it's that bad, but... Just wasn't meant to be. Oh, I don't think I'm not afraid of the player anymore. I don't think I'm not like a friend or something. Here's D. So the Raptors win it. That's good. A clean win. Fuck. And one yeah. That was terrible, bro. I don't know. All right, let's get started. Oh, uh, Frank. So, it looked like you were hunting for threes at the expense of keeping the ball moving. Now, can you comment on that a bit? I'm, I'm not sure I see things the same way. Well, how, how do you mean, MP? Well, the, the team comes first. I shot the ball from deep tonight because I had the looks and I had the hot hands. If I didn't, I'd just assume give those shots to someone else. The bottom line is winning, and that's all I care about. Andrew? I've noticed one thing that seems even stronger than your basketball game, your fashion game. Is that a priority to you? Hey, for sure. Look, I'm gonna be honest with you. Coming out of high school, I was all about shorts, J's, baggy hoodies, okay? But seeing the guys around the league and the guys in my own locker room, I knew I had to step it up. And those guys, they've been helping me find my groove, you know what I'm saying? So I, I feel like I've been picking up on a, picking up on things. So thank you for noticing, Andrew. Would you say fashion is your main form of self-expression? Um, off the court, maybe. But on the court, I feel like I express myself with how I play, man. There's a lot of emotion in my game, whether y'all see it or not. But off the court, I can't run and dunk on you. So I dress right, you know? That's, that's the way I dunk on you, metaphorically. Dunk on me, metaphorically. <laughs> I know, never that, Andrew. You know, you got some style, man. <laughs> I appreciate that. 